you get a lot of uh, duplicate tutorials out there. Um, maybe one is good enough for you, but I wanted to talk about um, why making duplicate tutorials is a good thing. Um, so there's really just a few reasons like to keep these pretty short, um, but I just wanted to say that when you have more, it doesn't hurt. Um, you have, you know, maybe it might, might not be the first hit, but just having more um, might give you more options. Maybe you you understand things one way, um, some other things resonate. Maybe a speaker speaks a little bit better to you. Different cues, different things, how people explain things um, that might help. So, um, and then the other thing uh, when you have duplicate tutorials, it's like, um, you know, you'll you'll get feedback. Um, maybe there's a, a really good tutorial out there. Um, then others will view yours maybe on the journey or on the the one of six videos that gets them to the most effective one that helps them with um, with teaching the actual topic or or resonating with that person who's trying to consume the information. Um, so you'll get feedback maybe from the comments if you encourage them. Uh, that'll be a, a that'll definitely help you with um, with improving your I guess your explanations, your videos, um, and uh, you know, just kind of help you get better. Um, improves the growth mindset. The growth mindset. Um, I'm a big proponent of that. Um, so I think, you know, we, we won't put out these other tutorials because they may exist already. This one explained it perfectly and is better. I need to find a better topic to explain something, some sort of gap. No, just just do the video because more is still is still better because uh, you're out there to help um, someone else get it. Maybe you're the person that explains it the way that that person needed in order to absorb or uh, consume that content or you know learn some sort of programming language. Um, improving the understanding, that's what we were talking about. So if you're familiar with that Feynman technique, Richard Feynman, um, the way I kind of oversimplify it is that if you can't explain it to, to someone who's not in a technical field or anything specific to what you're doing, if you're able to explain it in very simple, concise terms to them, that's what Feynman technique is to me. Um, so it really improves the understanding because the biggest critic will be yourself. You're going to critique yourself and say, I could have said that a little bit more concise. It would have been better if I did this, you know, and all these things will help you become just better at, uh, I guess, explaining these um, these topics to others or passing on your knowledge, essentially, which is our mission. Um, and then the last thing is that uh, what we were talking before is explanation. Um, yours, you might explain something better. It doesn't, if they receive the message, that's the main goal. Um, I know we reiterated this several times through, but if you're able to get through to that one person who's looking for that, that for some reason the other 10 or 15 tutorials on the same topic don't make sense, well then um, your that video was worth it. So you know, keeping in mind the the greater purpose here, not yourself putting it up, putting out information, feeling good about yourself. The bigger purpose is basically to reach someone who may not get what they need from the other popular like 1 million hit videos it's like your video that made um, uh, how to build a simple node app very trivial but yours is the one that resonated with that person that's going to make it all worth it so